The goal of the visit was to forge long-term regional stability and to get a first-hand understanding of the situation as it continues to evolve on the ground. This mission allowed us to bring a central message to the DRC. The DRC is at a pivotal moment in its history. For the first time, a peaceful handover of power after the elections is possible, paving the way for the consolidation of stability in the DRC and creating the conditions conducive to its development. This is a real reason for hope, but its realization requires that all the political forces of the country unite to meet the wishes of the Congolese people. With just 73 days to go before the December 23rd election, the UN has acknowledged that the process was evolving according to the electoral calendar, that major milestones had been achieved, the electoral law revised, the electoral roll drawn up and submitted for audit, and that some 21 candidates have been validated to run for the presidency of the Republic. But concerns do remain, particularly around the use and deployment of electronic voting machines that only began arriving in the country last Friday. At the same time, as the members of the council heard many times in Kinshasa, the main leaders of the opposition are extremely distrustful over the process in general, to which they nevertheless remain committed for the time being. They are calling for the voting machines to be abandoned and also for the electoral roll to be cleaned up. It is therefore essential that actors in the DRC reach a consensus on these questions so as not to compromise the acceptance of the results of these votes. And it is with that in mind that I am continuing my good offices with determination. Concerns also remain as to how these machines would be transported to 90,000 polling places, their reliability and how voters would adapt to them. The Security Council finally shared in the full respect for the sovereignty of the DRC and in a constructive spirit of accompanying the country, restated that MONUSCO stands ready to provide logistical and technical support to the elections if the need arises. This is the message that all 15 council members shared with all the political actors we met. Compromises will be needed on both sides, and we hope that a spirit of responsibility among political leaders will prevail. Council also lamented the low participation of women. Of the over 15,000 candidates for the National Assembly and the almost 20,000 for provincial houses, less than 12% of candidates are women. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.